Hello, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today we're going to turn something from junk mail into something kind of cool stickers that we can use in our junk journals or happy mail or things like that. So I know I know I get a lot of these kinds of stickers. Most of them are like this and they have my address on them um, and I've already gessoed this one out to kind of cover that up. Uh, but so I get lots of these labels where they send, you know, stickers and they come up like this. They're just, they're just address labels and they have pictures on them, things like that. Uh, sometimes they send these and you can see I've already spattered these a little bit but <laughs> accidentally. Um, but I get a lot of these in the mail from charities uh, and sometimes they're super cute, but I have a lot of them. So I want to do something with these. And what I want to do is turn them into some kind of pretty sticker I can use in my journal, maybe along the edge of something sort of like washi tape. I, I realize it's not washi paper and it's not, um, it's not washi tape, but Washi tape can be a little a little pricey sometimes, so this might be a good way to get some uh, interesting stickers, papers, things like that, without uh, without necessarily having to um, pay a lot of money for them. And you could have a, a very large variety. So I have gessoed. I have just simply put a coat of gesso on these to to kind of cover out. I mean, you can still see like some of the squares with the pictures and things like that. Um, but then I'm just gonna paint these out and I'm gonna paint, I have, my paints are a mess because I don't put my stuff in a splatter box before I start splattering. <laughs> so my desk is frequently a mess, but you know, I, I guess art is messy. I don't know, life is messy, so. Um, I'm gonna paint these out. I have, let's see, looks like between 15 and 20 maybe sheets. Some of them are this big, some of them are like little single ones. Um, some of them are bigger that are gonna get painted in a variety of colors. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw some paint on here just to lay a background. Um, I'm gonna spatter some stuff on it. And then we're gonna stamp and stencil uh, designs. And then when you pull the pieces up, of course, it'll just be little pieces of the lines and, and it'll be kind of interesting and it'll be a pop of color, that kind of thing. So that's that's what I'm after. Um, and so I am, again, using my handy dandy sponge, which you can see is already covered with some paint. Um, I've been painting different things today and I painted some of them out, but I need, I need to finish painting them out and I thought I should do a couple, one or two on camera with the paint, and then I'll paint them out and, and we'll come back and decorate them. Um, so I'm just really, this has color stuff on it. I don't care if it gets, you know, blended in, messed up on there too. It's okay if there's a bunch of it. We can do the kind of sponge so we've got that texture. We can, you know, kind of wipe it across so we get more of a, more, a little more kind of a blended coverage. You know what, this doesn't have a name on it and I didn't realize it looks kind of metallic, so that's okay. I like metallic, but we might want to put that one on top then. And you can see I've, some of these are wrinkled a little. Oops, that one's coming up on the edge. That's okay. You know, when you think about it, it's it's junk mail. So if something ends up, you know, we, we lose a sticker because it peels up on the edge or it wrinkles funny and we don't like it, it's okay because it was going to go in the trash anyway. Um, and I have tons of these. Oops. Oh, I can see I've already taken some of them off, off up here. <laughs> so the, the, you can see the paint isn't really sticking to the background because that's kind of wax papery with our stickers. 
Um, I don't know about you, but I, I get tons of these in the mail. There's, there's always something that's coming. So I, I know I used my sponge the other day, if you were watching, when I did the, the backgrounds for the junk journal made from a board book. And I did use it and I kind of pounced more. So today I thought maybe I would kind of drag it more. And you can still kind of see some of the shadows of, of the other of the other stuff underneath. You know, there were there were pictures on there. Um, but that's okay because it's really just a, a shadowy square. And by the time we stamp something on top of it you know, and do other stuff to it, you're really not going to notice it. It's just going to look like a darker spot. So you can see we can just put some paint right over it. I'm having trouble with this one. It looks like it's really buckling now. Some of the other ones I have done, I have not done that. I wonder if I got this one a lot wetter. Maybe when I gesso did, I put more gesso on it and it got, got pretty wet. So at this point, you really can't see what's under it, it just kind of looks like shadow. Um, so we might, we might put a little metallic on top of it, spatter a little, my spatter brush here. And see, I should be smart enough to put, to put down either more paper or put it in a box and do it, but I just, you know, I start spattering and I'm having fun and it ends up other places. And it's like case or all. I also have um, some ink mixed with water. Uh, so I might do a little spattering with that. I like that, I like the blue. So, like I said, I have between 15 and 20 of these sheets. I'm gonna do all of these the same way, different colors. I'm just gonna throw some paint down, two or three colors of paint. I'm gonna spatter it, I'm gonna throw some ink on top. Um, and then when it's all dry, which is gonna take a little while because they do have the underlayer of gesso that has to dry first. When it's all dry, we'll come back and stamp some designs and, and do some things to it and see how they look. All right, I'll be back in a few. Okay, I'm back and my stickers, my paint is seems to be dry. I can show you I have quite a stack of them. So there's some different colors with metallics on top that I've spattered, purples and blues, golds and greens and reds. And I just did a, a variety of different colors just because I, n I never really know what color I want sometimes. So, and I like I like a lot of colors. Another green, we can put that on that stack. Sort of sort them out here a little bit. So those are the colors. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to um, stencil some designs on, on the stickers. And then once the stenciling is dry, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some stamping on top of that. So we'll have layers. So here we have um, three different colors of paint. We have some spatters. Oh, looks like that's a tiny bit damp there. We have some spatters. We're gonna do some stenciling on top in just kind of different places all around. And you can see the lines where the stickers are going to be. So each one is gonna be a little bit different because the, the color is gonna be different whether or not it has patterns. So I'm gonna stencil pieces of it and then we'll come in and stamp other pieces and over some of the stencils and things like that. The stencils I chose are just designs kind of, they're just marks. It's not really anything in particular. You could choose something that is a definitive pattern um, but when you pick up the pieces, it's just going to be little bits of it, so it won't really look like the pattern. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you if you want something. This one is probably the most patterned because um, of the leaves and things. And so 
when we, you know, when we pick up the stickers, it'll have little bits and pieces of leaves without the whole leaf. Unless, you know, unless you want to look at where the, the lines are like this one, looks like it has maybe a bigger one here, has some bigger ones. And then you might, you might get something stenciled on there. Um, this one you can see has smaller pieces. They're long, they're kind of longer. So if you, if you want to line up your, your stickers with the pattern, then by all means do it. Um, I'm going to kind of limit the color palette for, for the, um, stenciling just because I, I think some colors just work better with the background. Since I've got all these colorful backgrounds, I don't want to add a lot more color. Um, so I've got white, I've got gray, and then I brought metallic silver, um, gold metallic, which is really more copper looking. And then this is kind of a metallic yellowy gold. All right, let's start, start with this one. And, and I think, as I said, I'm just going to kind of randomly throw some paint on there. And I'm going to start with white. When I stamp, I plan to use um, black, white, and maybe gold ink. So it'll kind of depend on, depend on what color we do some of this in. Just some random, and you don't even have to be super random on here because as you pick up the stickers, it will make it more random. We'll do some of the polka dots too, or should we do? Maybe a little bit of that one. And I'm gonna choose stamps too that don't have necessarily a pattern where you need to see the full pattern. Just, just things, the other way. Just things that are gonna create lines, mark making. You could totally go in with a Sharpie and do some drawing on these. Maybe we'll draw on one of them. That would be, that would be something good, I think. Um, just go in and do some mark making, do some, do some lines draw some random little doodled flowers because you're only going to see little bits and pieces of it. Running that off the edge there. Right. I just kind of want to fill this a little bit because when we do the stamping, I'm going to stamp over it in a different color. So since I've done this one in white, I'll stamp either in gold or black over the top of it. And then that should create another layer. So we can put that one to the side. Um, do a blue one. This is kind of an interesting pattern. Uh, let's see. Want something a little more subtle, maybe. So if we if we go with the white, it's going to show up a lot more. The gray is going to blend a little more, so it might just make it a little more subtle in the background. Won't be as noticeable, but we'll certainly give us a little layer because we are covering up some of those some of those spots so we can see that that creates more texture than anything because it's not really we're not really seeing the pattern we're just seeing that there's an absence of all of the spots and so that's kind of a nice a nice effect I think And as we pick up stickers, that will certainly uh, give a different effect. Oh, I like that. Let's try this pattern. Let's 
This almost looks like night sky, doesn't it? Oh, we could we'll just do that. pretty I like that I don't know if you can I'm hoping you can see the way the texture looks with in the light with the camera okay let's try let's try a green one maybe we'll stay with that gray I've got a little bit of white left here and kind of mix it in with a little bit lighter So we use the polka dots. I'm a fan of polka dots. So. Definitely interesting. I like it. I like the gray on there. I'm just going to do the whole thing in this gray polka dots <laughs> because I just, I really like that. Speaking to me today. The thing about stenciling is it takes so little paint. You can, you can get a lot of bang for your buck. It doesn't take very much paint pretty quick, dries fast, easy to do. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one a lot with the, with the polka dots. I'm back. Um, these are dry, it doesn't take very long when you stencil. There's not very much paint involved, so it dries pretty fast. Um, so I'm back with my stack of painted stickers. I brought an assortment of ink and then some different uh, stamps. I have these from Stampers Anonymous, um, a Tim Holtz, the Tim Holtz collection. This one does not have a tag on it. I honestly don't know um, where it's from. The only tag says that it's vintage tag English, so I'm not really sure. And then uh, this one is just part of an old set and again I'm, I'm not really sure where it came from but I chose um, things that were just kind of innocuous that are just going to give me some lines without really giving me a lot of design because again when I separate when I separate all of those stickers if they're going to be in small pieces um, some of them are bigger and you can kind of tell where they're gonna, you know, this one had a bigger, sometimes they have like a donate here and a printed piece up here and then all the smaller stickers below. So this one is a little bit bigger, but I could cut it down. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter how big or how small the, uh, the uh, name tag, the little, you know, address label is. As those are larger, these are smaller. These are like this size. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what size they are because it's just gonna be design. And then, so the bigger ones, we can cut into smaller strips or use for something larger to wrap around something, that kind of stuff. And then the smaller ones we can use on the edges of things just to dress them up. So this is 
let's see, red with kind of a grayish white. Let's, let's start with black ink and see, see how that looks. I'm just gonna ink up my stamp here. I don't have a, an acrylic block this big, so mine are all a good deal smaller. So we'll see, I'm not really sure how much, uh, how much ink that one has. I do have another black ink pad. Yeah, so that's, that's good. Just, yeah, just kind of, you know, just kind of some random lines. And of course I have ink on my fingers already. <laughs> when I was a, a baby, my grandfather nicknamed me Happy Mess because I was always laughing and I was always a mess. So I guess, you know, not too much has changed. <laughs> Maybe I don't laugh quite as much as I did. Wish I did. It's hard sometimes these days, but this certainly makes me happy. Crafting and painting and all of that, making a mess, definitely makes me happy so i guess i'm still a happy mess and let's try something else this has numbers i'm not really sure what the numbers are doesn't look like i've used this one imagine that a stamp i haven't used that's hard to believe isn't it I'll turn them the other way because the stickers are you know can go lots of different ways and not really sure Yep, you can tell I haven't used this one yet. It's not holding as much ink. Mm, and then how about this one? This one has um, the definition of imagination. It's like a dictionary entry for imagination. Black is not, I mean, it's a nice background, but it's not showing up a lot, is it? Um, I wonder if we go in with some gold on top. I have, this is this is curry, but it looks pretty gold to me, and so this is a daffodil. This one is definitely gold, metallic. Let's see how that looks if we just go in kind of randomly across the top. Well, that's nice. I might have to go back and do some of those other ones in gold. Maybe I'll have to pull out a couple different designs. I could pull out something like butterflies or something because, you know, if you just get a piece of a butterfly, that's okay too. is not getting too much ink on there. I wonder what the white would look like. Let's see. I got this one and obviously I put something on it that's not white, like gold, like I'm doing now, because that's what I do. I should wash the stamp, I know. I just, I just don't. I just feel like I'm, you know, in too much of a hurry for that, I guess. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't want to stop and wash it. Um, a little bit. And now I'm thinking maybe I should get out my Tim Holtz inks and see if we can get something that's a little, a little brighter on there. That's pretty, and I do like it. It would it would make a good a good sticker background if I wanted to put that on something and cut it up. Let's see what else we have. You know, before I before I give up, we should try like the curry, huh? Let's 
Okay, here I go again. I didn't didn't uh, clean my stamp. Well, that's showing up nicely. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try another one with maybe with the curry and the lettering. Because I'd like to see a little more of that lettering. It's pretty. It's very background kind of look to it, which is nice. A lot of times washi tape is, you know, just has a subtle pattern to it that is not necessarily something you want to see. I mean, lots of florals, things like that, plaids, but often blending into the background. So I realize this is not not washy, but again, it could be a substitute for it if you don't have very many washi tapes, or you only, you know, if you have one or two, you don't have any, or you want something that's a specific color, but you don't want to buy a whole roll. Oh, that's nice. See, I like that. Now that's pretty. And these are, now look how that would look. Now that's a nice little sticker. I don't, want to, I don't want to smear it, so I like that. That would look really pretty on the edge of a book page or something. Okay, I like that one. All right. Liking this. Liking the curry. I like the curry. Let's see. Let's try the... the numbers here. Mm. They're not showing up nearly as much on that lighter, lighter background. We might need the black for this one. So it looks like it's just going to kind of depend on what the background color is how much it's going to blend or how much you want it to blend. I mean, that's it is pretty, it's very subtle, but there is definitively something there. Whereas, you know, this one, so this one has more of a, you know, used tape kind of look to it. Whereas this one is much more subtle with the kind of and a curry gold on gold. So it's just a different look. So neither is bad or wrong. They're just different, right? So this is kind of cool. So, all right. I am going to keep stamping these things. Um, not sure if I'll speed up the, the video or just turn it off and turn it back on when I'm done, kind of, I guess it depends on how long it takes me. So, you know, I'll stop talking though. And when we're done with this, we'll uh, put them on something where we can see how they're going to look. Okay, I'm back. Um, I cleaned the ink pads and I cleaned the stamps and the white still wasn't showing up so I decided just to do all the darker colors in gold so it looks something like this which I thought was a nice a nice contrast um so there were there were a few of the dark ones left that I did in gold instead of white um but I thought it looked really good so I I like that and that was the first one we did with some black and gold so I thought we might just kind of flip through them really fast. Some different colors. I 
I like this one. I think this one's pretty with the kind of browns and the grays. So I'm in, you know, overall, even though I struggled a little bit with the white ink and it didn't quite look the way I thought it was going to, I really am, am loving the way these look um, because I think they make a nice addition to my washi tape collection. They're different. They're colors maybe I don't have. Um, the washi tapes are definitively a design and floral, and these are more of just kind of a hint of a design or something. So you can see I've put a couple of pieces on. Um, I put any place you might put washi tape is where you could put these stickers. So I they're and they're flat, right? They're not shiny except where the metallic is, but because of the paint, um, you know, unless there's the metallic ink which I like metallic, so there's metallic on all of mine. Um, but if you don't like metallic, don't use metallic paint, don't use metallic ink, and you get a very flat uh, flat look to it. But you can see just a little bit of interest here. Any place, if I were doing an envelope, I might put it on that, I might put it on the other side. This is uh, a little library pocket and I put just a little right there peeking out so you could see where the edge was. Um, that's this one. Maybe something else that would go with that. You could put a piece at the bottom. And the fun thing about this is I'm not really sure what size the stickers are. So you can always um, cut it down or, or add an extra one or roll it over the edge. So, and these have quite a bit of stick to them. I didn't get that one quite straight, but you know, but that adds a little, a little color, just a little pop of color, a little more texture to it. Um, they would be really good on a collage, uh, on the edges of pockets, any place on, on a, on a journaling card, any place you would use washi tape, you can use these. Um, the, the biggest difference is that they're just a little bit different sizes and they come in smaller strips. So I hope that you will look at the stickers that you're getting in the mail, um, maybe in a different light and see them as an opportunity to uh, make some stickers of your own, make some washi sort of tape of your own. Uh, to use in your junk journal or your planner or a calendar or just you know to give to the kids this would be fun to gesso some of these out and then give them to the kids and let them draw on them and or paint them however they wanted and then they would have uh, some of their own stickers uh, which would be fun they could take them to school give them to their friends put them on their notebook that kind of stuff so i think there's a lot of uses for for those stickers that we're getting in the mail other than putting them in the trash bin, okay? Anyway, I hope you found some value here today. If you did, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Um, I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me uh, getting to make things and share my love of making things and my love of paper with other people uh, is really literally a dream come true for me. I, I love to do this and this is a lot of fun and I hope you're having fun too. So remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Have a great day. Bye.